to UGC e Patshala project. I am Sheetal Arora, Assistant Professor Criminology, Sadaf Patel University of Police, Security and Criminal Justice, Jodhpur. And I am going to present a module on developing healthy police public relationship. Let's begin with learning objectives. First, to make the learners understand the concept of community policing. Second, to make the learners understand the various possible ways to make good police public relationship. Third, to acquaint the learners with the functioning of police in safeguard of human rights with cooperation from the community. Let us begin with the brief introduction about the topic. The police are the most visible agents to the government in charge of people's security. They are a significant part to maintain the rule of law, the establishment of healthy and practical democracy and to manage development and improvement of country. The primary obligation of the police are to keep up public serenity, peace, to secure the individual's right and opportunities, especially life, to avert and identify wrongdoing, to lessen fear and to give help and administration to people in general. Progress towards democratic policing is made when there is a movement from a control situated way to deal with a more administration arranged methodology, where the essential concern of law authorization stays concentrated on proactive crime prevention. Now proactive policing cannot be successfully sustained without the ready cooperation from the society or the public. And to approach the success of proactive policing, the implementation of community policing is very much required. Community policing spins around the guidelines of proactive policing through individuals agreeable policing, rehearses, group interest and critical thinking prompting wrongdoing, anticipation and maintenance of law and order. Community policing permits the authorization to return to the standards whereupon it was established to coordinate itself into the fabric of the community so that the general public and the police team up even before a different issue emerges. It is a philosophy in view of the idea that police officers and private residents cooperate inevitably to tackle contemporary community issues identified with wrongdoing, apprehension of crime issue and neighborhood problems. It encourages to build up another association with decent individuals in the community, permitting them more prominent say in settling nearby policing needs and including them in endeavours to enhance general personal satisfaction in their neighbourhood. The beat officer is in everyday contact with individuals in the regions so that the officer claims the beat territories creates compatibility with the general public and wins their trust. Here, the police serve as an impetus and the general public acknowledges their offer of obligation regarding taking care of neighborhood issues identified with wrongdoing issues and security. The logic of community policing is anticipated on the conviction that accomplishing these objectives require that police departments to build up another association with the law standing people in the community permitting them a more noteworthy voice in setting nearby police needs and including them in endeavours to enhance the general personal satisfaction in their neighbourhoods. It moves the centre of police work from taking care of arbitrary calls into taking care of community problems. In any case, what a police department sees as useful for the division may not be useful for the community or it might be useful for just that part of the community to whom the police are specially responsive, not for different parts. As often as possible, a few sections of community are not enough counseled in matters in which somebody chooses what is useful for everyone. Public relations at times tend to be a restrictive correspondence process. 
Good public relations are vital for any police agency. This territory has been ignored before, evidently in light of the fact that is something of an extravagance for an expense bolstered administration. It might have likewise been in some police agencies. Now about police public relationship. Police organizations in a democratic country can release its obligations adequately just with the participation of the general population. Assistance from public is required for counter active action, discovery, examination and prosecution of cases. Furthermore, to maintain peace amid all real social, uh, social monetary and political occasions for evoking and supporting such collaborations consistent cooperation with the individuals from the general public should be kept up by expert public relations set up inside the organization. Police are vital wings of the executive. They are the essential law enforcement organization. The execution of police obligations presupposes resident and support from public to police. Police need help of the general public as witnesses, sources and supporters. The police ought to accordingly attempt to make impression in the public that they are their companions and are there to help them in the event of need. Now something about efforts to improve police public relations internally. Well, it begins first with the police department themselves with the perspective to growing better internal relations, distributions of different sorts can be distributed and flown among the staff. Now about in-house publication, magazines and journals. This is a channel of correspondence for the police personnel of all positions to set themselves familiar with the police working in all regards. It gives a medium to articulation of perspective and correspondence of different improvements in the division every once in a while. It is additional a method by which the department can speak with each other. The substance of these are to facilitate exchange on police obligations, department issues, instances of good work, upgradation of information and the perspectives of people in general, the arrangements of the office and the legitimate changes are additional merged in the departmental distributions. Now these distributions give a pursuing material to policemen and their families. Such exercises ought to keep running with standard staff headed by a manager of the rank of an additional SP. Let's know about efforts to improve police public relations externally. The Deputy Inspector General of Police, Public Relations and the PRO ought to be in consistent touch with the Information and Public Relations Departments of the State Government, Doordarshan, All India Radio, the Directorate of the Field Publicity of the Government of India and so forth and so on out reputation for all the great work done by the police since positive work usually does not promptly pull in the consideration of the media. The outer advertising effort ought to be intended to eliminate teach, manufacture, mindfulness and trust in the thinking of the general public by embracing the accompanying techniques like the educative taglines. These can be pitched through hoardings daily papers, radio, TV and the printed writing and electronic showcase gathering with voluntary bodies, sound visuals and direct communication with public. The electronic media, the educative taglines might be shown or read out through the electronic media and radio. Interviews with senior officers broadcast on particular points or matters of interest would likewise help in enhancing the data to journal society. The audio visuals, this is a viable media to give a look at the working of the organizations for the betterment of staff and also others and to choose groups of onlookers like 
visiting dignitaries, elective agents, establishments, students and the individuals who visit the divisions and its offices, the customary media. This media through tunes, movies, dramatization and other folk frames lends itself as an excellent media for correspondence with journal society. Being live structures, they have a capable claim if legitimated, considered and effectively depicted. Aside from experts, police themselves who have the important ability can be used to stage such projects. Skilled groups can be set up to visit diverse territories, arranging plays and different projects using the most recent sound, light and music hardware. The verbal communication, the conferences, workshops, meetings, seminars, group discussions, interactions with the journal public are ought to be completely utilized and used for enhancing healthy police public relations. The newspapers, this is effective media and is pursued by countless. The individual who read and examine about what they read impact a bigger number. Journal official statements in a flawless organization containing data occasionally on essential strategy choices, occasions, bandobas, wrongdoings, data illuminations, activity redirections, game plans for fairs, celebrations, decisions and in times of crisis, peace and request circumstances would go far in keeping people in general public properly aware. Question and answer sessions by senior officers and at whatever point circumstance request is a valuable strategy for direct connection with the press and the general population. The responses letters to the editor and elucidations in an appropriate organization would empower illuminations and move made on grievances conveyed to take note. Press clippings give helpful input to the police and empower them to react or take appropriate measures. The promoting aspects. The primary target of publicizing is to disperse data of real plans or circumstances, needs, critical accomplishments, developing of a picture in light of execution. It is additionally a technique for showing the uplifting news covering the real accomplishments, which now and again the media may not typically print or give due position or significance. The meetings with the general public, the grievances of the general population will be known better if the officers encourage people for face to face interaction. These gatherings should happen when the officers go on visit or on review. The visit should be to different towns and regions. Gatherings on particular subjects or particular issues with those influenced or liable to be influenced should likewise be assembled to know the realities and the sentiments of general society from their perspectives. These should not be mistaken for the gatherings which might be held with delegates of specific associations to handle a specific circumstance or an issue. The other media. This incorporates open house dialogues, notice, sheets, sponsorship of games, art and society, proficient honorary and grants and so on. The games and culture media is of preferred standpoint as policemen have the limit of alluring presentations, gifts of mass drill and other particular types of hand to hand fighting which have a connection to their profession. These show draw in substantial social occasions and are a decent media of correspondence. They likewise give an input to the police department straightforwardly. The assessment. The essential obligation 
of the PR Association and the senior officers is to assess the effect of the public relation capacity. Now, let's discuss in brief regarding various community policing programs in India. Community policing has been utilized by numerous law enforcement organizations throughout the nation with various names. Such programs of community policing in different states of India can be understood by some of the following elaborated examples. Community policing in Andhra Pradesh, Maitri. Maitri is the name given to an efficient attempt in community policing by the Andhra Pradesh police. It aimed toward understanding the systematic restrictions of receptive policing and the feeling of distance in the people in general because of authoritarian police practices in the field. Community policing in Tamil Nadu, Friends of Police. The FOP is a comprehensive and dynamic idea to deal with policing. It is an initiative of police public organization where initiatives have been enabled and with the assistance of the police, the companions of police provide open doors for common citizens to adequately add to the prevention and detection of crime. Any individual from the public, male or female, who is not included civil or criminal case can turn into an individual from FOP. The individuals from Friends of Police FOP can give valuable data prompting settling of violations. Companions of police individuals can likewise keep any misuse of police force in light of simple availability to the station house, officer and other senior personal role of Friends of Police. Voluntary night patrols, assistance in law and order maintenance. Intelligence collection, crime prevention, assistance in traffic, involvement in prohibition work, friends of police development have been discovered useful in making channels for accepting the right data at the appropriate time. It has likewise helped the police to come nearer to the community. It has attempted to give reasonable uh, straightforwardness and absence of bias in the working of the police. This framework is working viably in all areas of Tamil Nadu. Community policing in Assam. Prahari. Community policing idea in Assam has been sought after a highly cantered way uh, since 1950 when the Willis Defense organization was formally propelled at the activity undertaken by late Hari Narayan Bhaura VDO was formally systematized with appropriation of the Village Defense Act 1960. Community policing in Kerala, Janmatri Suraksha Project. Janmatri Suraksha Project is a community police initiative by Kerala police. This community policing is a maintained joint effort between the police and the group that distinguishes and takes care of community issues. Contingent upon the requirement and reactions of the community included. Community policing procedures may change at the point when Sir Robert Peel set up the London Metropolitan Police. He put forward various standards, one of which could be viewed as the foundation of group policing. The police are the public and the public are the police. It is clear that without a solid tie-up with the community, police might not have entry to applicable data from individuals that could understand or prevent crimes. Supportive data will be inevitable from society members just when police have built up a relationship of trust with the group they serve. Also when community members trust the police are truly keen on group points of view 
and issues at exactly that point they start to see the police similar to a beneficial and key part of that community. Genmetri Suraksha project, the objectives, the goals of the Genmetri Suraksha projects are crime prevention, facilitating cooperation and common comprehension amongst police and the community and advancing security related shared cooperation among citizenry. In each police station, there is a Janmetri Suraksha Simiti. The Samiti will try to embrace and execute the Janmetri Suraksha project inside the points of confinement of the particular police station. With the assistance of the station house officer, the circle inspector will recommend the names of the persons to be incorporated into the Samiti. The subdivisional police officer will analyze such names and such rundown of names will be submitted to the district police superintendent. After due thought and such counsel as he may consider legitimate, the district police superintendent will constitute the Samiti and advise the concerned. The individuals who are included in any criminal case ought not to be incorporated into the committee. There are many more initiatives are taken by different state police to create community police at the police station level, district level and state level. Now about zero tolerance policing. Zero tolerance policing can be characterized as a strict non-optional law authorizational approach that is thought to be intense on crime. Under this approach, the police uphold each aspect of the law. This likewise implies they give careful consideration to minor offenses and those considered quality of life offenses. For example, open drinking, vandalism, graffiti and begging. The expression zero tolerance can be followed back to the Safe and Clean Neighborhood Act which was affirmed in New Jersey in 1973. It got to be well known in 1982 when criminologist James Q. Wilson and George L. Kelling distributed their broken window hypothesis of crime. Under that hypothesis, the possibility that minor physical and social issue, if left unattended, would bring about more serious form of crimes to happen. In India, the concept of zero tolerance policing is being applicable or seen practicable in the cases of crime against women. In 2013, a committee under Kochi Range Inspector General K. Padma Kumar and City Police Commissioner K. G. James has arranged 31 point sanction for execution. Zero tolerance police under the plan to avoid crime against women while concluding this presentation, one may note that the path of community policing is to minimize the gap between policemen and public to such a degree to that point that the policemen turn into a coordinated part of the community they serve. As such, the individual policemen ought to know every individual from the society and he ought to thus be known by them. So the essential unit of community policing ought to be topographically and demographically sufficiently minimized to empower a foot patrolman to know all and everybody inside a sensible range of time and thus he himself known in the community. Lastly, the policing and the security needs of a reduced geological territory can be effectively distinguished and by utilizing neighborhood assets. Thank you.